good morning. Uh, I wanted to do an update on my entire collection. And I'm afraid that's going to be a bit along uh, a bit of a long video and I'm not that talkative. Well I am but I'm not sure if I can, uh, if I, uh, you see, that's my problem. From thought to speech isn't as easy as it may look. Um, this is a, a rather annoying Dendrobium nobile. And I've, oh, this is a yellow one. And I can't get rid of the spider mite. For some reason, uh, I got a special uh, species. So, this was treated yesterday for the zillions time. Now I hope this stuff will, uh, will work. Same with this one. This is a um, firebird. Yes, it is. And it's not doing well. I already lost uh, the division of this one. And this one is constantly suffering from spider mite. And eh, it's not working for me. Uh, oh, they are in quarantine, so no touchy. Uh, something else. Uh, this is a back bulb from the large cymbidium and it had a few roots so I thought yeah what the hey time for an experiment again and it's barely visible where is it oh. See this? Oh, a small little green point. That's a new growth. So, <clears throat> a tiny miracle. I never expected that to happen. Uh, it is rooting. And I'm not going to take it out of the pot because reasons. Um, next one. Here's the, the back bowl from the Shilob. And as you can see, the new growth is coming on beautifully. Again, something I didn't expect. Um, this one is from the sweet sugar and it's still plump. Leaves are still okay, but it doesn't produce roots, so we'll wait and see. This is a shriveled uh, uh, cane from a phal Dendrobium phalaenopsis, I believe. I completely forgot. And that's because I don't take notes. <coughs> take notes. If you can, because I can't. Uh, my dendrochylum. Oh. There she is. There he is. There's the flower spike. Very slowly growing. But it's doing something. And let's see if we can do this up close. There it is. Now, do now. Now, you can see it's starting to twist. And it's made up of little nodes. And I'm guessing those are uh, splits that will open 
and produce a flower and this is supposed to be uh, to get to about two feet long and it's not even 10 inches so <coughs> we'll wait what else is there to do with orchids my little vandas <coughs> the root system is getting a little bit big a little bit it's so big they won't fit in the same watering bucket anymore and <coughs> they have been hanging under artificial light for a few weeks now and they're both producing new leaves and the same goes with my aberrants or Nora Tokanaga crossed with aberrants and I hope it's visible but you can see there in between the leaves is a little brown spot and I'm guessing that's a sheath so when these canes are a little bit bigger I think I'm going to have flowers and this is also under um, artificial light until about yeah, I, 8 9 o'clock in the evening and I turn on the lights as soon as I get in the kitchen in the morning that's about 5 so this has ample light and it's not even uh, a spectacular grow light it's just like this it's uh, it's basically a curled up TL tube and it's not giving off much heat oh. No, you can touch it without burning your fingers <coughs> for a little while. There should be another one. <coughs> but yeah, artificial lighting. Something to be said about that. But yeah, I don't have a control group, so this could be completely bogus. So don't take it on the uh, to the bank. This is... Um, I planted it from the Pleurothallis, the Strapioides, <coughs> and it didn't want to root, so I placed it in a moss ball and let it soak. It's still a bit dark in uh, the grow room, <coughs> because I don't have artificial light here yet. And this is the monster board. Uh, <coughs> this one lost flowers. Well, basically all of them. This one is going too. This one is still holding up. <coughs> and the leaves are a bit on the dry side. And this is a bitch to give water, really. But remember, it's only been there for a week or thereabout. <coughs> so they're still adjusting. Here's my Amabile happily pushing out a new growth. Can we see it? Yes, we can. There it is. Roots tucked away. And I need water. And <coughs> my spray can is heating up at the moment. So patience, darling, is patience. Um, the Frosty Dawn. <coughs> also doing quite nicely. And as you can see, it's still in active growth, no terminal leaves yet. <coughs> this sickly little thing is the Promenia, and it's supposed to look like this. 
bit of a grey haze, silvery haze. And it looks like spider mite, but it's not. Um, um, steady, steady, steady. And this is also a little bit of a surprise. If I can get the jungle out of the way. This is the big nobile, the, the old one. And it lo has lost all its leaves. But there are three new growths coming. And they're not rotting. So it m might have been a good decision to put it on this wood. There are some nubbins. <coughs> Let's see if we can get access there. Now I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's a keiki. Flowers would be nice. Up, up, up. It's, uh, no ID nobile. That's also no ID nobile with a beautiful new growth, not rotting. An enormous keiki with roots but I'm not going to take it off yet <coughs> because that will look silly mm. the um, Ladejassii experiment <coughs> and these are just about to take off they are growing but not as fast as <coughs> the other Ladejassii Oh, to now. You can hear it's all crispy. <coughs> These are still attached to the cane. These aren't. So, these ones have the benefit of the food and resources of the old cane. Even this one. So yeah, um, Fintlianum, and I start calling it the Fidlianum because it's extremely fiddly and finicky. It has new roots. Okay, when you hear that, it's time to give water. So uh, the other Dendrobium nobile, and I believe it's a species nobile. And <coughs> it's giving new growth, and there is root movement underneath the moss. Um, <coughs> this is my big lot of Jesse eye. At least it looks incredibly like a lot of Jesse eye. This is the PRRD, and it's growing beautifully. Really, I'm really satisfied with this one. And absolutely flowers. Yes, there will be. This is the <coughs> mother lot of GSEI. This is where I took all the cakeys from. And as you can see how... Focus, focus. There's a new cane. So, no rest for you. Um, I believe this was a... Uh, Burgiara and I think it's the <coughs> the lack of light uh, shorter days but I have the feeling there's not much movement in this one it hasn't produced new roots so this is still uh, a question mark The fell cakeys also doing good. This is the eternal wind also doing great. New growth is coming on strong. Here's uh, oh yeah, this was the wood on wood. <coughs> Has to adjust to the new board so. Not much to tell here. I love these leaves. 
looks a little bit like cattleya leaves. Um, this is uh, Dyneema polybulbin, and you can name it poly, but <coughs> has to make a few more new bulbs for me to call it poly. Rescue fell, it's doing great. Another fell cakey. Dendrobium phalaenopsis. Dendrobium phalaenopsis. These are really cute. Oh. You can see they're plumping up nicely. Same as mom and dad. Just a lot smaller. Oh, a little bit of light. You see? Huh? <coughs> also thirsty. Um, Dendrobium kenzianum. And as you can see, it has a root, but it's a really wobbly root, so not to disturb that one. Also Dendrobium phalaenopsis, Cetoptolkin, still no new growth, but still flowers. And they're on their way out because they change color. They will fall off in a couple of days, maybe a week. Um, this is the Spring Dream Apollo. And <clears throat> it's giving me all kinds of new roots. Yeah, he likes it. Um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis Thailand black. And oh, yeah, it's also rooting nicely. Roots are coming uh, around the board. The Cymbidium, uh, this is uh, Ali Anderson. New growth is coming on really nicely. A bit too nice. The Twinkles, still keeping me waiting. Look at those buds. It's absolutely stupendous. Mm. The Oncidium Sweet Sugar is also plumping up nicely and giving new roots, but doesn't want to focus. Damn. Okay. Um, Cymbidium Peto Lake. New growth is also coming nicely. That's one. Oh. And. I'm gonna do this in one take. Um, all of these, except for the singlos in the back, are producing one or more flower spikes. And pretty soon it will be, will be time to stake them. <coughs> Although I like to leave them hanging, but I also have a cat. And it's a playful thing, let's call it that. <coughs> it's a four-legged destruction machine. So this is going to be a problem because I have one here and that's a real, real big one. And at the moment I'm training it to grow <coughs> onto the light because if I keep it here, I'm not going to be able to stake it. So yeah, this uh, little mini fell has two. This one is producing one over here. A little bit closer. See here. Right next to the one that's still in bloom. 
Uh, this one, how? Oh. It's also making two. These are at least two weeks off. It's the intermedia. And this is also producing all kinds of roots. This is the supermarket Catlia without any roots. So yeah. And the new growth is coming on. The final blue. Or Ports of Paradise. And there's the <coughs> Dendrobium capitulaeflorum, and it had a red spider mite. Also got a treatment yesterday, so see about that. Um, Cattleya final blue. I thought it had a sheath, but <coughs> it didn't. Um, and underneath everything is the Jacquiniella and it has three buds but no new roots yet but nothing is dying, that's important um, no ID, Catalia same as this one also doing great and how uh, Again, this was a bit of a surprise. It was a bag bulb of one of the supermarket Catalias. And <coughs> look what it's doing. Why won't you focus? We have new roots here and over here. Now it looks a bit desiccated, a bit much, but that's to be expected. So, yes, the Catalias, um, and focus, the Dendrobiums. Now, let's get a little closer. This is um, a Dendrobium nobile, star class. It has white flowers. and. It is busy with its terminal leaf, I think. Really bright green. This is the um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis um, summer noch, summer, summer cocktail. Hmm, sunny cocktail. It's way too early. And it has a spike which is incredibly slow. <coughs> My little puff is aborting the first, uh, the first fan. Now it looks sad, but this is dry. This is also dry. This one is dry. So, still growing. The um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis Thailand Black, also still growing. The Supermarket Catalia, and look at this. It's really, really liking his new home. There's another one coming. This is the last one. It's the Dendrobium Comet King <coughs> with a keiki that doesn't want to root. That's why the moss is there. A bit of damp sphagnum <coughs> might stimulate some root growth, but you have to water the moss, and that's what I'm forgetting. So, a bit of a chaotic update <coughs> of 25 minutes, no less. 
Uh, yeah, do I have anything else? No. That's it. 91 orchids, I believe. And everything is doing pretty well. Pretty happy. I have a new idea for a setup. And I'm busy uh, collecting uh, dinner tables. So this Phalaenopsis table will be gone. Um, this white cupboard will be gone. That will be gone. Um, I'm basically turning my living room into a grow room. So everything will be on high tables. Uh, I will have my workspace here. Oh yeah, those. The cooler ones. Those are the cool kids. The um, red tide is losing its flowers. But that's okay. And the rest is still adjusting, so no news from that. Okay, that's about it. Um, yeah, this is it. I'm going to give everything a little spray and upload this. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.